The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. Product of the Hart Family Dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart Family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Now the daughter of Jim the Animal Nightheart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart. Got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. The Hall of Famer, Beth Phoenix, a true pioneer. Making her way to the ring from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Without question, one of the best, most purest natural athletes we have ever seen in WWE. Making her way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, Victoria. Guys, we have a huge six-man tag team match coming up here. For me, Michael, the biggest storyline heading into this match would be whether or not these teams can truly coexist. comes the tag teams it doesn't get any better than beautiful twin sisters Nikki and Brie think about all the memories we've seen on pay-per-view with the Bella Twins remember when Nikki teamed up with John Cena to take on the Miz and Maurice or how about that epic battle where Brie Bella went one-on-one -on -one with Stephanie McMahon at SummerSlam. I wasn't aware you were the Bella Twins' unofficial biographer, Byron. I'm just a royal historian. And her opponents. First, from Pony Vigilance, Alicia Fox. Hey, Alicia! Alicia! But you should have heard what Byron no, was saying quiet, about you earlier quiet, today. Quiet, Michael! I'm getting out of here. Good. Thank God. Now the show can get crazy like a fox. Yeah, she's... She's not quite like all your other superstars in WWE. She has some issues. Unpredictable, sure. I'm into that sort of thing. We're about to see how Nikki's able to coexist with her tag team partners in this Six Divas tag team match. This is definitely going to be interesting. Oh, what incredible power! Wow, what a vertical suplex! A knee drop! Uh-oh. Watch out! Thunderous slam.
She's so close to make... Look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. German suplex! In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Alicia Fox has eyes to finish. You gotta believe this one's over! That was simply amazing. This one's far from over. She's a warrior, guys. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the... So impressive. This is exactly what Alicia Fox is waiting. Scissors kick! She's got a chance to win it here. Alicia Fox is... Here's her cover. Digging deep for a kick out. She's still in this one. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. Nail it! Ooh, what impact! Oh, oh, it's over! Oh, man, Alicia Fox doesn't even know where she is! What an incredible moonsault! No doubt about that one. Corey, you spoke about when a superstar is in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize... Look at this, Byron! She better do something fast. No! She breaks it! Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Shoulder tackle! Alicia Fox's legs looking feeble. She could be on her way out of this one. If she's not careful, she's gonna end up losing this match. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the... She goes for the cover. Look at her go! She's looking to get out of here with a win early. It's going to take more than that to keep her down. She's too quick for her. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone can think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. And now she's being pushed to the limit. Ow. 
The six-man match may have taken it all out of her. You know, when you step into the ring opposite three of the most dominant women on the roster today, things like this are bound to happen. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. The three superstars are relying things of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit. Three individuals. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Big reversal for her there. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Oh, the yes lock is cinched in! Is he gonna yes lock? What's gonna happen now? Bree Bella better not waste this opportunity. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio... Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Beth Phoenix making her move. She better do something fast. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Rebella in a very difficult spot here. Momentum clearly not on her side right now, fellas. Given what she's been through in this match, she may very well be the weak link on this team right now. What a stop! Good grief! And that's how a superstar takes advantage of their ring position. Such a high ring IQ. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye. Double chicken wing applied. Slam slam! I bet you feel foolish. She goes for the cover. What an amazing six-man tag match. Something tells me WWE fans will be discussing this six-man tag match for years to come, and I can't blame them. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Count yourselves lucky, people. You might watch WWE for years and only see a match that good a few times. Epic. Here are your winners. Natalia, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix, and Victoria. Could have gone either way there for a while. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. I wasn't completely convinced these three were on the same page throughout the entire match, but they were certainly able to overcome any potential issues to pick up the win.